Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Hannah and I like to lift heavy things. Now I've recently had an absolutely massive breakthrough with my power snatch, with my power cleans and therefore with my snatch and my full cleans. Until recently I would constantly miss my power snatches forward and I would always miss my power cleans forward and like bent over. Now the most frustrating thing about that was most of the time I wasn't missing the power snatches or the power cleans through lack of strength. The problem I was having was that my technique from a full snatch or from a full clean wasn't carrying over to the powers and I couldn't piece it together. I never understood how people would go from a power straight to a full because I'd never understood how those two correlated or how I was to execute the power in order to make sure that it was the same as the full. Basically what was happening was that I was starfishing my power snatches so my feet would go really wide and I was doing the same with my power cleans. Until recently when I had a huge, huge breakthrough. So let me explain exactly what happened. So I just had a power session that I think I came away really, really frustrated from because I hadn't achieved what I wanted to achieve. I think at this stage I was snatching like 75-ish around there and I couldn't power snatch more than 60 on a good day. And I, the same had happened with my power cleans. I just, I couldn't go from a power clean to a full clean. And I was getting really frustrated that that wasn't transferring over. So I came home and I was watching my videos and I noticed something that was drastically different in my falls than in my powers. So when I next went into the gym, I decided to warm up and to take like specific notice of what was happening with my body to see whether I could try and not do or do the thing that I had to do <laughs> a lot of do's, thing that I had to do in order to make sure that I would execute the perfect power snatch or the perfect power clean that would directly translate into a full lift. So I warmed up really, really effectively and efficiently. I took a really long time to make sure that I understood exactly what my body was doing and what I expected my body to do. And then I tried to carry that on with the heavier weights and that's when it happened. I had an enormous breakthrough. That session I managed to power snatch over 70 kilos, which was a huge, huge PB for me. I essentially went from having a starfish power snatch to having a really nice, well-rounded power snatch. So let me tell you exactly what I changed and to see whether you guys can look at your videos and see whether you're doing the same thing. So the thing that I noticed back when I was watching those videos and reflecting on how my session could have gone better was that the way that my hips were moving, going from a power to a full, were drastically different. Now when I was power snatching, I was sticking my hips and bum back and trying to slam my chest through in order to make sure that it was a power snatch and I was stopping that weight above parallel. So I would often end up with my hips way behind the bar, my bum sticking out, my chest falling forwards, which just meant that as soon as it got heavy or as soon as there was a little bit of forward momentum on the bar, I would just lose it straight away. I would never be able to full snatch it because it was way too far forwards and I would never be able to power snatch it because the technique was just shoddy. So what I ended up doing was taking note of how my hips moved when I full snatch and trying to make sure that once I had extended, I wasn't simply sticking my bum back to go into a full squat position. I was feeling my hips go straight down into a squat. Now naturally that's quite a hard position to adopt and I think that these bad habits of shooting my hips back to power snatch it was coming from when I first started weightlifting and I couldn't sit down into that deep squat position. But basically the cue that I was trying to give myself was that as soon as I made contact with the bar, I was trying to sit through underneath the bar and catch the weight. Basically, as confusing as that sounds, the basic thing that you want to do is not shoot your hips back to try and catch the weight. You want to try and sit into your squat instead of sit out of your squat. Now, if you watch this video here, I'm shooting my hips back to try and catch the bar, and I'm shooting my hips back to try and sit into a squat. You can see that this creates forward momentum on the bar and isn't the most efficient way to move around a bar. In this video, I make a drastic difference in that I'm trying to keep my hips under the bar and trying to squeeze into a squat as opposed to leaning back into a squat. And that is the key difference. That is what changed my power snatch. Instead of trying to make a power a power, make a power a powerful full. I hope that makes sense. Make a power a powerful full. You want to snatch that bar exactly the same as how you're full snatching it when you're power snatching it. Really extend up into the weight and sit your hips into and under the bar. Yes, you're gonna have to put more power into a power snatch, but the movement is exactly the same and you want to end up in the same positions in order to have the best carryover possible for your full lifts. 
a cue that I found really, really helpful. I keep my chest nice and tall throughout the whole movement and sit down while keeping my chest nice and tall and sit into the squat. Keeping your chest tall is one of my favorite, favorite cues because I feel like it is the most basic yet most well-rounded, most bang for your buck cue. And I think that the chest up with the hips under is genuinely, genuinely gonna transform your lifts. So next time you're watching your videos back, just watch out for the diving of the chest forward and the shooting of the hips back. If that's what you're doing, just remember what I said and see whether that helps you. If it did, please, please pop it in the comments below. I would love to hear if this helps any of you. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel because it means so much that you are all here and I'm good people. Subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.